Hello and welcome to another episode of What Trevor Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, let's talk about the Doctor Who experience in Cardiff. Now we talked about it a few months ago. Unfortunately, the Doctor Who experience said that it was going to be closing this year. It was an incredibly large interactive Doctor Who museum with props, costumes, and even TARDIS interiors. And last month, after five years of being open, the experience closed its doors, much to the dismay of Doctor Who fans all around the world. Though, on the final day that the Doctor Who experience was open, there was an adorable wedding proposal. Daniel asked Annabelle, his girlfriend of three years, to marry him whilst inside of the TARDIS. They say don't do a marriage proposal in front of a big crowd, and you can imagine how many people were there on the final day of the Doctor Who experience. Thankfully, she said yes. However, that adorable wedding proposal is not the subject of today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about post Doctor Who experience. What is going to happen now? We've talked about why the Doctor Who experience was closing this year after five years of being open, and that's because the lease on the building was coming to an end. There was a large petition for the Doctor Who experience to stay open, citing income from tourists from all around the world visiting this Doctor Who museum. And they're definitely not wrong. The Doctor Who experience brought people from all around the world, fans of Doctor Who who wanted to see these props, these costumes firsthand. But the experience closed closed as stated, the lease ran out on the building, nobody really knows where all of the props are going right now, but the Doctor Who experience is currently no more. Now, it's been about a month since the Doctor Who experience closed, but that hasn't stopped people from thinking that a new experience should and could actually take its place. You see, the building where the Doctor Who experience was located was on a five-year sublease from the city, from the Cardiff Council. That land, the building, is now being reverted back to the Cardiff Council and they need to decide what they want to do with the building now. According to Wales Online, a council member has revealed that a new Doctor Who attraction could come to Cardiff. Russell Goodway, a councillor for Cardiff, has said that there are ongoing talks as to what to do with the building that the Doctor Who experience was previously located in. And also that there have been conversations with BBC Worldwide to secure a new Doctor Who attraction in the city. At the moment, it looks as if government officials in the city are talking with BBC Worldwide about their options, though it does seem like we will be getting a new Doctor Who attraction sometime in the future. Whether it's something similar to the Doctor Who experience or something completely different, it would make sense for the city of Cardiff to have a Doctor Who attraction. Plus, those props, costumes, and sets all have to go somewhere, right? Since the majority of the props are screen-used items, most of them belong to BBC, BBC Worldwide, and some private collectors. And sure, there could possibly be other location options. Cardiff isn't the only city to have ever had their own showcase to Doctor Who. A version of the Doctor Who experience existed in London before actually moving to Cardiff, and rumors have been circulating about possibly having a similar Doctor Who experience in Manchester, but nothing official has been announced. Right now, it seems like everything is kind of up in the air, but there are a lot of people working towards having a more stable Doctor Who museum experience, whatever you want to call it. Plus, as if I need another reason to jump over the pond and go visit Wales, because that's somewhere that I've wanted to go for years. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on where you think the props and costumes and sets should go. Should they open up another Doctor Who museum in Cardiff? Should it move to a different city? Should it be a traveling Doctor Who circus and just going all around the world? It would have to be much smaller than the Doctor Who experience, but hey, I think that would be kind of neat. As always, my name is Travis, thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.